Good day, peace, love and light to you all family. Welcome to another YouTube video with me, your host. Today, you're sitting with me once again, Mathix Maslangu. My name is guys. You have to subscribe to the channel and you have to like it as well so that you can get notifications in the future. With Mang Shama, I'm an episode so you can be alerted automatically. So, on today's particular episode, I want to talk to you guys about synchronicities. I'm a synchronicity. Yo, bro. When last did you talk to Tabo, bro? Wait, 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 give me a second. I think I'm getting a call. Hello? Tabo! Bro, I was literally just talking about you, dog. That's a synchronicity right there. That's a synchronicity right there. You think something and it happens. Like this moment right now, you watching this particular video, that's a synchronicity. You were synchronized to this. Synchronicity. When we look at the word sync, it's in sync. It's a zip. <laughs> the moment when you pull up a zip like that, that's a synchronicity right there. Because the two come together. And now we're going to talk about... Oh, guys, we're going to talk about synchronicities from a level that you never heard from before. You never heard the explanation of synchronicities from what I'm about to tell you today because synchronicity is nothing but the two hemispheres of the brain beginning to work together. Feminine, right brain, masculine, left brain come together to create the zip. The zip is the pineal gland. It zips everything together. Woo-hoo! Donkey! 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 It's going to get interesting today, guys. It's Kulumangama synchronicity. Guess what? Your high school friends, your primary friends, your, your parents, your lover, all of those people are synchronicities. Synchronicities. There is nothing that happens in your life that is not a synchronicity. Now, let's talk about it. What is a synchronicity? A synchronicity is the result. It's the effect of certain causes that take place within your internal world, the causal planes which are also affected by your past life experiences, which what we call your karma. So now your karma are experiences that are unfulfilled, certain actions that still need to be taken by you so that you can learn certain lessons. So now those actions of the past, guess what? Guess the inside, they create synchronicities for you in the now. That's why you can have deja vus. I feel like I've been here. I mean, dog, I feel like I'm here. This happens most especially with lovers. Like... Babe, like, uh, babe, you're so familiar to me. To my, I know it's at all, and, but you're so familiar. That's a synchronicity. You think that you are, as a being, an infinite being, an infinite creator, and the person that you are with is not a synchronicity? No, relax. Relax. Everything about you is a synchronicity. It's synchronized. As I said, it's Adam and Eve coming together to eat the apple so that they can know the knowledge of the gods. The knowledge of the gods is the fact that you exist beyond time and space. You exist beyond your body. You are not just the face. You are a whole cosmic story. Everything about you is a synchronicity. Vuango three, three, three. Vuango four, four, four. You look at the time, it's 11, 11. What? What are the odds? What are the odds? Hmm? You be you be stressed. Your uncle she never want to a stress. Now we want to a stress. Now we want to a stress about the job interview. Here's this person stressing about their kid. Here's this person stressing about their grandparents. Oh my grandparents gonna pass away. Here's this person stressing about whatever it is that you are stressing about. You are a passenger. In a car, right? You're a passenger in a car and you're stressing about whatever you're stressing about. And guess what you see on the left side, on the billboard, or on the right side? You see a billboard, Gabang team. Guess what it says? It says relax. That's a synchronicity. That's a synchronicity. Synchronicities are communications from your own inner self, your own inner being, which is where your ancestors, your angels, your guides, God, whatever names you want to call them, that's where they all exist. All these entities are inside of here. And they, they from the causal world begin to set up processes 
that now create synchronicities in this time, what we call third density, which is where you exist in this body. Ay, jamagani. Woo! Take that in. Take that in. Are you good? All right, can, can, can we continue? Can we continue? Are you sure? Are you ready? It's about to get deep with these synchronicities because you are having a synchronicity right now. What if I told you that you are in a synchronicity with God? What if I told you that God chose you to be the synchronization of bringing the whole universe into the conscious awareness of itself through you? Hmm? What would you do if I told you that? What would you do if I told you that you are in synchronization with the one most high acting as a co-creator? So you are the one most high, an aspect of God that has split from the one most high. Nothing about you is chance. There is no one you meet by chance. What is chance in an infinite mind? I'm a chancellor. There's no chance. It's not a chance that you were born to the family that you were born to, to that parent, to that mother. Now, I know, I'm sorry to say this. I, I know some of you are hoping with the synchronicities. Mm, synchronicities are only for the nice things, but I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry to say this because I don't want to lie to you guys, even those bad things. And I know you're saying, Matthew, no, man. How can, how can someone be synchronized to their parents abusing them? How can someone be synchronized to torture? How can a, how, not even someone, how can a race be synchronized to apartheid? How can a race be synchronized to slavery? Let me tell you that the synchronicities, as I said, they are lessons. There's certain things that we need to know in the material plane that we are going to need when we are in the next state, in the next harmonic that we need to learn here. And those lessons are brought to us via synchronicities. Your guides, you start meeting people all of a sudden. You start thinking certain thoughts all of a sudden. You start acting a certain way all of a sudden. Certain things begin to say, do this, don't do that, all of that. All of those are synchronicities, baby. Synchronicities is the baby in you acting in harmonic correspondence with the adult version of you and the you that is here now. Past, present, and future all come together to create a synchronicity because time doesn't exist. Time doesn't exist. Time is an element. Just like how you have fire, earth, air, and water. Those four elements, time is an element as well. Did you know that you can bend time with your mind? You can fold space. <laughs> you can fold space. You can bend time. What do you think you are doing in dreams when you have dreams of flying, astral projecting? You have dreams where you feel like you are coming out of your body. Some people, it's not even dreams. You'll be sleeping and you feel like your spirit is about to leave your body. That's the bending of time. How do you think you get the sensation of falling in dreams? It's because what you think is your reality here is but an aspect. It's a dream. Watch the movie Inception, baby. This is a movie within... It's, it's a dream within a dream within a dream. As I said, you are the baby. But at the same time, you are an adult. Grandfather, grandmother, ancient soul. You are existing in parallel realities all at the same time. And you are balancing them. What do you think they mean when they say that you are created in the image of God? Hmm? Gav, Gav, this verse, John 10, verse 34 to 36. The Pharisees wanted to kill Jesus. And, and Jesus asked them, he's like, okay, gents, why do you want to kill me? He's like, no, Jobon. We don't want to kill you for the, for, for, for the miracles that you are performing. The reason why we want to kill you is because you, being a mere man, claim to be a god. And then guess what Jesus said? We, guys, we just want to go down like Jesus, Jesus, Hey, baby G, I'll out there, baby. Deep. And he's just like you. Guess what he said to them? He said, no, man, listen. Is it not written in your laws that I say that ye are gods? Woo! <laughs> 
in your law. The law is what? The law is the Old Testament. Testa means body. The testament. To testify. The testicles. It's the body. They say that in the ancient times when someone wanted to testify, they laid their head on, it could be Abraham's thigh because that's close to the testicles, which is the testimony. You are God's testimony in flesh. So he says that, is it not written in your law, which is the Old Testament, that I say that ye are God's, which is Psalms 82. For it says that all of you are children of the Most High, but you will die like mere men or mere mortals. Because why? You lack the knowledge of yourselves. Anzazi. You're out here worshipping, you're out here worshipping yourself externally. You create things outside and then you worship those things. You guys are worshipping Aston Martins, Louis Vuittons. You're worshipping all these things, yet you created them. It doesn't necessarily have to be you who creates a particular company, but that is a fellow human. And a human is nothing but a projection. Everyone who you see in your life is you externalized. So Nikola Tesla, all these people, Abu Bill Gates, Funus Fagama, Vaccine, all these people are you externalized. Everybody is you, as my friend says in one of his songs, everybody is you existing in synchronicity. So right there, you are existing in synchronicity with yourself. And we are your synchronization. You are synchronizing us for your specific reality. Your reality is custom made by God. For it to make sense to you. What? How do you think? This, what do you think is happening here? What do you think this is? You think this is a game? It is. <laughs> it is a game. <laughs> It is a game. It is a game. And that's why synchronicities can exist. You know why synchronicities exist as well? It's because we are thoughts. We are thoughts. They say that nothing is new under the sun. Nothing is new under the sun. Everything you can think, everything that you ever think of has already been thought of. You know what makes you special? The fact that you think it in your own individualized way. Which means that now you bring about a certain twist to how you see reality. But that thing has already been thought of. There's somebody who's thought the most craziest, the most craziest thing that you can think, that you think, someone else would think that thing, that thing has been thought of. <laughs> Those questions that you used to ask yourself as a kid, if God created me, who created God? Oh, if God knows everything. And I used to do this as a kid. I used to be like, if God knows everything. I, I used to want to trick God. I used to be like, you know and we're like, did God know I was going to do that? And that used to just blow my mind. I'm like, okay, God, you know everything. And then I'll just stand still. And I'm like, shit, does this, does this, does this being know I'm going to go left or right? Because you know what? I used to think of God as a sovereign being. That time, being as with you, God is me. I didn't know. I didn't know that who I was playing the game with trying to see if I was going to go left or right is me. I didn't know that I existed in the fourth dimension, which is the pre which is like the, the blueprint in the ethereal, which is the blueprint to what the physical is. I didn't know that before I make this action, that action has already been made in spirit, not just a few seconds ago, but eons ago. But then again, this, is, this, this has nothing to do with, with, with something being predestined because when something is predestined, then you really don't have free will. You have free will in the now, but then at the same time, you did choose your life. And that's the synchronicity. You chose your life, but then the actions and the things that would happen in your life, those would be the gifts. Let me give you an example. When you go to school, we are kids. So I'm a subject. Most people here in South Africa, when you're in grade nine, you choose certain, like, okay, I want to do maths. I want to do science. I want to do natural science. I want to do this particular subject, right? You choose the subject. But you don't know what you're going to learn in the subject But you know I like geography Because I'm going to learn about You know landscapes I'm going to learn about p particular things I love biology because I'm going to learn about the heart The spleen, the atoms and all these things I love cat or The computer science because I'm going to learn About Excel and Word and all these things You choose the course but you don't know What you're going to learn in the course and that's where the Synchronizations come in so Just as you choose courses in high school Or in university so too Do you choose your life You choose your life Read the Bible Read holy scriptures they will tell you 
I predestined you. I foreknew you before you were in your mother's womb. What does that mean? You're scared of death. You're scared of dying. You're so unashamed. Why are you afraid of death when you are a pre-existent being? You don't die. You just change forms. And that's the synchronization. In fact, your actions in this life are creating the synchronicities in your next life. Ay man. Ay man. I'm mad at you guys. I'm mad at you guys. Gods. You like forgetting for a long time. You like, you like, but then I'm also proud of you for synchronizing yourself to this conversation that we're having right here because it means that you are ready. You are ready for the next state. You are ready to be the Christ and not to worship someone called Jesus as there was this man with blonde hair and blue eyes who died for me. No, you are Jesus. You are dying for yourself. This body, this is the cross. If you stand up like this, it's just that there's a wall here, but if you spread your arms like this, you become a cross with your legs closed. You are a cross. And if you spread it, you are a star. Which is what? Which is the five-pointed star? Which is who? Which is God? Which is Allah? Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. That's Allah. The five-pointed star. The star of David. In the Bible, they say, bear your own cross. That cross is the body. Your soul is the Christ which has been crucified. You gotta bear your own cross. Because, Sifapa no saka kitla sejar, like which means that or oh, sifapa no saka I will carry it, which means your cross. You will carry your own cross. You are carrying it. You are carrying your your cross, and within that carrying the cross, you are creating synchronicities with the potential of what you are of of what you will be. So you are you are basically a being that is in you you. you you are stationed between being and becoming. You are a being, an infinite being, that is the becoming. You are the becoming. You are that which you are that which will be. You are that which was. And you are that which is. Oh, I man. <laughs> you are a synchronicity. What do you think it means to be created in the image of the one most high? It means that everything that the one most high is, you are. I hope I'm still recording. I cannot be giving these downloads and I'm not recording. Let me just check. Oh, I'm still recording. Thank you. Created in the image of the one most high, which means that you are the one most high. You're thinking something. It happens. You want something. Somebody shows you where to go look. You are questioning religion. Somebody who has questioned it and moved out of that just pops up in your life and they just they, they just start telling you other things. Yo, bruh. Yo, dog, did you know that actually, bruh? Black people are the ones who created civilization and they stole it from us. You're like, what? But I actually, yes, I've been thinking, which, why is Jesus white and not black or Indian? And, you know, synchronicities. Let me give you a synchronicity in the Bible. A verse that, that explains synchronicity. There's a verse that explains synchronicity in the Bible. It's called, Ask, Seek, Knock. If you ask, you will... Find the answers. If you knock, the door will be open for you. If you seek, you will find. That's a synchronicity. Because the asking, the seeking, and the knocking, it starts in the mental. It starts in the mind, within the fire, the air elements, within the ethereal, within the causal planes. And then it begins to dance. Life is a dance. It's sexual. It's masculine and feminine. And then it begins to dance. When you have sex with your partner, that's a synchronicity right there. Because now guess what's happening? The masculine, the masculine, the charge, the spark, the ideas, the intentions. Now guess what they do? They, the seed, it begins to mingle with the soil. It begins to mingle with the, with the, with the, 
with the egg, with the potential. It's, it's, it's two aspects of God beginning to dance with itself. It's Adam and Eve. It's, it's Eve walking up to Adam and saying, hey, what about if we eat this fruit? And then Adam is like, but then God said we shouldn't eat it. But guess who Eve is? Eve is the right brain teaching Adam, the left brain, how to now become a united force because Adam was logical. And that's why the snake synchronized with Eve because Eve represents the feminine. Eve is, is the right brain. So she she's imagination. The Bible says be like children. Children are synonymous. Synonymous, is that the right word? Ch oh, electricity. Oh my word, tell me about jealous. Ha, ah, the electricity literally just left. Oh no. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> the electricity literally just left. <laughs> Adam, oh, I, ho I, I hope it's still good. If it's not, you'll do. The lights switching off right now, that's a synchronicity. That's a synchronicity. You see how I was in. Everything is a synchronicity. The darkness is Eve. The light is Adam. <laughs> the darkness which just came now, that means that right now in this moment, the load shedding, that's the snake talking to Eve. The Eve, Eve is darkness. Why do you think women have been demonized? It's because this is what they are in the past. Our ancestors, they understood the woman is the darkness. She nurtures, she's, she's the night. Remember, so she's the imagination. She is chaos. She is the chaos. So the the snake, which is symbolic of knowledge and wisdom, be wise as serpents, but gentle as doves. So the 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 wisdom, the knowledge, the kundalini energy went to where? It went to the feminine. It went to the female, because the female is the right brain, and then. After giving the knowledge to the right brain, the activation of the right brain, that's why Christ was like, I will sit at the right hand of the Father. The Father is the brain. The right side of the Father is the right hemisphere of the brain. So when these two begin to become synchronized, you begin to understand now between intuition and logic. Our science and and teachers and politicians and leaders are mostly left-brained today. That's why the world is so corrupt, because they are looking at things from a linear perspective. The, the feminine side has been destroyed. It, it, its throat chakra has been cut off. For the last 2,000 years, the female energy on this planet has been struggling with the throat chakra. That's the, th that, that's the chakra that's damaged. Most women are struggling with the throat chakra because they can't express it. The truth has been, they, they, they can't vocalize. They've been overshadowed by beings that want to manipulate so they can't speak their truth. So women, a lot of women in this age, their healing is here. Sisters, you need to heal here. You need to heal the throat, the vocalization. You need to heal this chakra. This is the chakra that most women on a collective level are dealing with. This is the part that's damaged. Your truth, your ability to say what you want. Like, no, nah, nigga, I ain't doing that. Nah, bro. No, I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to serve you. You need to say that. Most women are damaged here because they, their ability to speak and stand up from, for themselves, not physically, vocally, to say, nah. Relax. That has been taken away. So most women need to now synchronize themselves back to their throat chakra, to the ether. Because the throat chakra is the ether. And then from the ether are born the four elements, which are fire, earth, air, and water. Asbong, eh? Asbong, eh? Asbong, eh? Knowledge, guys. Asbong, eh? Knowledge, guys. This is not my knowledge. This is your knowledge. This is our knowledge. This is... This is togetherness. We are in this together. You and me right now are synchronized. All of this, all, your whole life is a synchronicity. Your parents, you being in your mother's womb is a synchronicity. You chose her. As I said, you choose your parents like how you choose a course in university. Like, I'm going to study that. So too do you choose. Like, yo, if I could have strict parents, ish, it's going to be hard. But that, that might trigger my awakening. So what do you think most... People who become so-called woke. People just throw that around. You're not woke. 
<laughs> being woke is not and it's not intellectual it's something that you gotta experience it's an experience this it's the whole krishna christ heru all these beings are processes christ is a process jesus christ is a process it's a process that all of us have to oh, awaken within ourselves we need to Stop praying and worshipping things outside of ourselves. Be it astrology, be it ancestors, be it God. You, there's nothing that is not inside of you. You can't... Everything is inside. Your ancestors are inside of you. God is inside of you. Whatever you are thinking about pouring libations to, all these beings exist inside of you. And you project them out. The moment you can understand that they exist in here and you're projecting them out, ah, oh, you are done. You are done because now you are you, you have been initiated into a new order. Mind you, so mind you, you are the God. Because you understand what he Okay. She there's angels out there and they're powerful, bro. There's gods out there that can there's beings in the universe that have you are, they don't even have dense bodies. They have bodies of plasma, bro. They are, they are bodies of light. Imagine having a body made up of pure light. What? You don't need to walk to places. You think places into spaces. You think a place and you are there. Your dreams give you an example of who you really are. <laughs> you think of something and you are there. You think of something and it's already happening. That's because you are existing at, an, at, at a different vibration. The synchronicities, they happen instantaneously. Whereas here, the synchronicities are much more slowed down because of the buffer that happens between the spirit and the flesh. You see, the body is actually a buffer the body allows there to be a time gap between when you think a thought and when the thought manifests i'm on hallelujah what take that in take that in so now you raising your energy this is why you have to raise your energy to know which is keep on you are a child of god you need to stop this sunday school mentality thinking Uti, god is some guy with white hair <laughs> oh, people think God is coming in a white robe. You God in the sandals, bro. The fact that you even you you're even taking human things and, and making God have clothes. We humans are so naughty. No wonder we were locked away from the rest of the universe. <laughs> we are so. What a naughty species. We are very naughty. And that is divine as well. Us being naughty is divine because we were we we were that force. They said we want to do something different. Yeah, we get it, it's amazing, but we want to do something different. We are the fallen ones. And in our falling, we created something separate so that from we are the prodigal son. We are the prodigal son as humanity. We are Joseph with the dreams. We are what God is dreaming itself to be. The interpretation of Joseph, him seeing dreams with the, with, with, with the coated color, you know, his cloak of many colors. That's us with our coat of many colors, which is our chakras. Remember, you see, you see, you see what I'm getting at here. We are Joseph dreaming of what God will be. And then God will manifest itself through us. So everything that you imagine God to be is what you are. Everything that you imagine God to be is what you are becoming. It's what you are and it's what you were and it's what you are will always be because you are in synchronization with the infinite you are the infinite temporarily experiencing itself in the body so it's not a coincidence nothing in your life is a coincidence there are no mistakes we are dealing with divine intelligence lana guys we are dealing with the supreme mind and that supreme mind is us experiencing itself in many different aspects Ooh, you are that intelligence it's scary it's very scary. <laughs> what? You think it's easy to accept the fact that you are God? 
You can't blame Satan. Satan made me do this. You can't blame God. God is doing this. No, you are doing it. How you think, how you act, how you feel, how you behave, bro. Relax. <laughs> you are the infinite. Be still and know that I am God. Who is God? You are God. If you can be still, everything will... Mm. Mm. No, they're not ready for this one. I just got a download. No, but no, no, you guys are not ready for this one. This is whoa, what? No, I'm not gonna tell them. Relax. Mm -mm, I can't tell them. Not yet. Not yet. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, guys, this is where we're going to stop this video. Understand that you are the synchronicity. Nothing in your life is by mistake, nothing is chance. Everything is aligned, everything is perfectly aligned. For it to be there, you are aligned to be in that moment that you are in. All the people in your life, are your parents, nothing in your life is coincidence. You chose this life. This is a very serious incarnation. You need to start taking this incarnation a little bit more seriously than you have been. You're thinking this is a game. You've lived many lifetimes, but this is one of those apex lifetimes. This is one of those lifetimes you will look back millennia from and you'll be like, damn. Boy, am I glad that I decided to know myself in that lifetime. There's an ancient African proverb, which is what I'm going to end this particular episode with. It says that, man, know thyself and you shall know God, gods and the universe. Because you are God, gods and the universe, all existing in synchronicity. We are all one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively. There is no such thing as death. Life is but a dream, and we are all the imaginations of ourselves. Peace, love, and light, family. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like so that you can get video, so you can get notified when I put up more videos in the future. Peace, family. I love you all. Well done. Well done to you. The secrets to immortality Everybody is just your other personality Existing in sync